Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Redan. And today I'm going to be reviewing another martial arts film. Of course, it's fully obscured, it's low budget, and it's something from way long ago. Yes, again, another vintage film for you folks. So, it's the film titled Rare Ball of Shaolin. So, of course, I'm going to be talking about the plot, so let's get into it, shall we? But a quick little thing is that this is actually the uncut version I'm reviewing, folks. So, yes, I've seen this with subtitles. Anyway, with that being said, let's get into the plot, shall we? So, after a series of killings, that pretty much had run rampant in this Shaolin... Okay, to be more exact, a uh, Shaolin Buddhist temple, to be more precise, I guess. So, it, it seems like, yeah, something's amiss here. One of the discipline, the disciples, is the subset. So, okay, does this mean it's an inside job? Like, what's going on here? Exactly. There's this corrupted individual, this emperor, to put much, uh, wants to keep this valuable piece of treasure, of course, and, um, but yeah, there's something, uh, that's, that's a myth here, it's obviously a pretty crazy type of a movie, where they're trying to blend uh, the mix of maybe some mystery, some drama, and of course, quite a bit of kung fu thrown all together, so yeah, like I was saying, there was this whole bit with the deaths of this, a good number of Shaolin monks, this leads to maybe the idea that Okay, it's, it's a possible, this could be an inside job. There's also this exiled monk who basically wants his student to basically avenge the murders. And uh, so, yeah, there's quite a bit going on here in terms of story. And that's fine. We gotta make it seem dramatic in one way or another. And, uh, and that's, that's the thing. It's supposed to be crazy in some sort of way, in one way or another. We need that kind of drama. Some ways, folks. But obviously, point being, yeah, there can be some suspicions that will arise. And something must be done about this. So, yeah, a main character that must fight. And which, which, of course, is not going to be no easy feat, obviously. Uh, but anyway, let's just say it gets pretty crazy, of course. And the way they try to choreograph the fight scenes is actually pretty well done. This, in this movie, that way it's choreographed, it's really well done. It's really nicely done. Yes, it's low budget. Yes, there's a restraint when it comes to the production value. But the people who choreographed everything, the people who framed these scenes, did a really top-notch job This in this one, folks. So I did like what they were trying to do with these characters, the way they did in the scenes, the way they were executed. It looks professional, though. It does look professional, though. But I do appreciate uh, the movie for doing that. To make it have it look like it was done in a professional kind of manner. Like, with the people behind this movie actually cared about the craft. So, that's definitely a nice touch, obviously. Which I can appreciate. So, that's definitely a good thing there. Oh, yeah. So, anyway. Like I was saying, the fight scenes are pretty well done. The fight scenes are really nicely put together as a whole. And yeah, yeah, the fights looks like an, it takes the fight scenes take place in various different way and places, different locations, a number of different a number of different areas. I'm not saying that every martial art movie has to do that. Sometimes yes, less is more. Uh, you have to think about the emotional impact. Ultimately, it's like what matters here is what you do with it, the execution of it, I suppose. I mean, yes. It could get repetitive if you do it, uh, be too frequent, frequent with it, I guess. But there needs to be like a balance, I suppose. Anyway, so but bottom line, the fight scenes do uh, try to carry um, some sort of a style to it, I guess, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that, of course. So the way it was done here is nice done. So I can't complain too much in regards to that. So I will recommend this movie for those who are, haven't seen it, especially if you're a fan of martial arts, you like, you like Kung Fu, definitely check this one out if you haven't already. Oh yeah. And uh, But uh, ultimately, I like the story. The story is well done here, for what it's worth. 
I did like what they were trying to do with the characters, like with the this in the grand scale of things and the way it was supposed to be and whatnot. So I this uh not a whole lot I can say the I didn't like really. But yeah, I did say that uh that this was pretty much not too shabby. And I probably wanted to at least try to get back into the reviewing Kyle film movies. Because I know I, I I it's all like on and off. I go on and off with this kind of genre. It's pretty much at random. I get into this genre, I suppose, even though I don't mind reviewing these movies. I really don't. But yeah, I do have my own playlist just for this specific genre, by the way, in case anyone's in case anyone wants to look at more of my martial art movie views. I've done other stuff, of course. It's on a playlist on my channel here. Just thought I'd let you know. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the thing is that, of course, it's on my to-do list, folks. Let's see here. There you go. Oh yeah. There you go. I don't technically. This is a notebook, but I'm kind of on to-do list anyway because I have quite a bit to talk about, and I do mean quite a bit of stuff to. Discuss, review, and all that. So yeah, I've been meaning to get to this anyway. So here we are. I've been meaning to want to get to this anyway. So yeah, it's been a while. It's been a good while since I watched this. So I just figured, might as just get to it. Might as well. Oh yeah, that's definitely. But yeah, all together, folks. I can say it wasn't too bad. I'll give this one an overall rating. I have a 7.3 out It's a 7.3 out of for me. Of course, as always, thank you for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah. Later.